Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get ready to the listen to the first female vice president of the Republic of Ghana in 2025. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all very much. And my thanks go to, goes to the chiefs and people of the northern part of our country, especially those in Tamale. You have given us a good welcome, and we are very grateful. As has all our members, and even our admirers too, we are very happy and grateful for your presence. Oh, and this you do all. You've all done very well. We are very grateful. Thank you so much. So special greetings to the people of Tamale. It's always a joy to be in Tamale. But you know, today I'm here for a special reason. This is the first time I'm addressing our lunch. And again, I'm very grateful for it. We, as a country, we know we are in a crisis. We know things are not working. We know that whether we are unable to pay our debt, whether our currency is depreciating, whether we are having a haircut, and let me explain. The haircut has affected our pensioners, but the haircut has also affected the quality of our education. Our education has also received a haircut. So has the haircut affected the quality of our health care. It has also affected even the quality of our roads and the quality of our businesses. So this is very, very serious. Whether it is about the cost of living, whether it is about our businesses collapsing, whether it is about unemployment, whether it is about our children not having nutritious meals because we can no longer afford them. Ladies and gentlemen, whether all these things are happening, we know that they affect everyone without discrimination. But we also know that they affect women more than men. Is that true or not? Where are the women? Are they here? You are here. So you know what I'm talking about. You know that when there's just one mushroom left, you have to turn it into a, into a, a palatable meal for everyone to enjoy. You know when the children are sick, go to any hospital and see those who bring the patients. It's the women who do so. When a family member is ill, it's always a woman who stays by the patient. So when things are not working, we feel it more. However, we are also the ones who don't earn that much. We are also the ones who don't generally stay in school for that long. So what should happen? What should John, uh, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama do? He has thought very long and hard about this problem. He has been in government before. He has handled this country before. He might not have been perfect, but we all know that he did the best he could. He did the best he could by everyone. And this is the time I want to thank the entire northern section of our country for giving the NDC, for giving Ghana a person who prioritizes truth over life. A person who doesn't give false promises. A capable, highly competent, truthful, respectful leader in the person of His Excellency, John Dramani Mahama. Hey. We have tried him. Hey. We have tried him. He has been off the, the radar. He has reflected on what is going on. And he's coming with new policies. And those who make comparisons, you don't compare unlike things. Don't compare his performance to, on his achievements 
with what this current government is giving us, it's like comparing cassava to oranges or cassava to lemon. There is no commonality among them. So we are very happy and grateful that His Excellency did not give up on this country, but that he is willing to put himself forth again to rescue this country. And this time, we must all ensure that when he's done the hard work, when all of us have supported in doing the hard work, this country does not return to such a status again. And we are counting on all of you. We are counting on all of us to ensure that we redeem this country, we rescue this country, we stabilize this country, and make us all proud to be Ghanaians. Well, so what did he do? Knowing that it's a woman who are suffering so much, he thought long and hard about it. And he came up with a brilliant idea. Ebusiafo, mamre kanye de. So ye, emanu mu yezina, mesiafo na wabre, ana onse dem. Eh ni ebre. So what does he want to do? Also why je no ho, de ah, obande na mesiafo wa mehe no busia busia ne re show. Na ye ko na ye ba, de bebi a ye ho ha ye. No ye ndan. Why do women suffer so much? What work do women mostly do in this country? Eh eh na ze papa pa onya ze ton. Na ye so ana so we don't need huge uh, capital. Some will need that, but the vast majority don't. Somebody wants a little money to sell kuli kuli. Somebody wants a little money to, to bake bread. Somebody wants a little money to set up the store. So what does the person do? The person normally goes to the bank. And what does bank manager say? Bank manager is also under instruction. So we are not angry with him. He's doing his work. So he'll ask the lady, go and bring your, the papers to your house. We don't have the houses. We don't, we don't have property. Go and bring a collateral. Go and bring the, the documents on your land, the estate houses you have built. Anything to convince me as a bank manager that you can pay. So you go once, you know you'll not go again. Most don't even bother. So what is the solution of, of His Excellency John Dramana, Mani Mahama to solve this problem? What he's saying is that he will set up a women's development bank. Are the women here? Are the women are the here? here? Are we listening? We are the ones who take care of the children. We are the ones who take care of the home. We are the ones who make sure that everybody is at peace. And when there's peace at home, there's peace in the community, there's peace in the country. So this bank is to serve the interest, is to ensure that we can reach as many women as possible. Some need a small amount of money, as I say. So how will this bank operate without a collateral? The bank will operate by looking at the amount of money the woman needs. And we've already targeted one million women to benefit. Hey! One million women and, to be empowered. And what, what do they bring? All we are saying is that if it's a small amount and you came for 4,000, 5,000, you bring us back just the 4,500, you know, 5,000. Don't bring any interest. Because, and a you are the, because a lot of the women are forced to go to loan sharks. And if you go to them, they give you 2,000. They tell you, bring 2,000 more. Now, what is that woman going to sell to make that kind of profit just to pay? So some will go into hiding all kinds of indignities that we know women don't need. What women need is help. We want to be able to take care of our responsibilities in the family. We don't always have to be, become a, a burden. And now that businesses are collapsing. And our husbands who don't have jobs. Our brothers don't have jobs. What are we going to do? You go to your brother's house too often. You start even having problems with your sister-in-law. Listen, there are problems we face. Real ones that nobody has tried to help us with. Until His Excellency John Dramani Mahama came on board. And is thinking about this to ensure that we can also have our peace of mind 
and we can also support our families and be up to the responsibilities that we face. And I want to assure the guys, the men, who, where are the men? Are the men here? You are also here. Hey! Hey! We want to thank you for all the support you've given us. But what we're saying is that we don't want all the burden to fall on you alone. We want to make sure that we can also help. And you know, when you think of women's businesses, our businesses, you know, we don't have a lot of profit. If I'm just selling a few items in the market, I'm just interested in making enough profit to feed my children. So if she can take a bit of that burden, I'm sure the men will also be happy. Won't you be happy? Will you be happy or not? You know you will be. And so we are counting on your support too to help us to push this agenda to ensure that your sisters, your wives, whoever, Thank you. Uh, women in your, in your uh, family also become independent. There are times when your, your journey or your profession takes you far away from home and you may not be paid three months or so before, um, but, but then before the what should the children do? And the woman is with them. So you see, this is something that cuts both ways. It helps everybody. And we know you are already with us. What we want you to do is to spread the gospel, to tell the good news to other people. This is a serious matter. It is not a gender war. Far from it. It is rather about raising the value of the businesses that women make, making them resilient enough to withstand. Women's Development Bank will do more than simply disperse money. We'll also give the training that allows the businesses to stand, that allows the businesses to thrive. You need business advice, you come. There are fellow women who have been through it who can share their experiences with you. You need a bank manager, you need people on the board who really understand our problems to be able to proffer the proper advice. Thank you, thank you, thank you, mommy, thank you. Okay, quickly, Mr. DJ, Mr. DJ, thank you, Professor Manager Nopokuachiman, thank you, thank you. We have the legend. Balaseku Nana Dodankwa Pabu Kora Yalam Kutota Mana Kutota Kwamita Tai Nedan So Demetabo So Bala 